What's up guys? Mardi Gras Man 2-3 here and I've got a haul for you today. This was a very, very unexpected haul. So the other night I was messing around, um, just looking around eBay, which I tend to do from time to time, and I stumbled upon this auction that had three minutes left. And so I went on, I couldn't believe it had three minutes left and the price it was. So I threw a bid out there and I just went like two bucks above the current bid, you know. You know, and usually what happens is you you put you know, you, you add a couple dollars and the person who's the high bidder has a he has a pretty big bid on it, so you know it comes back and it tells you sorry, you're not the high bidder, you want to do another bid. Well, like I said, I went up two bucks and I was the high bidder very surprised but it still had it only had three minutes left but I figured you know what happens on eBay if you guys are familiar with it that sometimes in the last minutes of a or become a bidding war I really couldn't believe the price so that was it I kinda forgot about it well then a few minutes later I get an email that I won surprising to me really had no intentions on buying it like I said I just threw the bid out there was pretty surprised that I won. So now, what am I going to do with it? But you guys are probably wondering what it is. Let me tell you, I think I got this at a really, really good price. And to top it off, once I won, the guy who was selling it lives about, uh, we'll say about an hour away from me. And he sent me an email saying that it would be a lot easier for him to drive it to me and bring it to me than to ship it because it was already built and he didn't want to tear it apart and it was fragile so you guys are wondering probably wondering what it is and like I said this guy brought it to me the next day so I bought this on Sunday night and he brought it to me on Monday well here it is it's another palace cinema and it's nearly complete. Um, as far as I can tell, it's missing one plate along the back side here. No big deal. It's missing one of these, I can't even see it, one of those accent pieces right here that goes right there. And it's missing the limo. And that's it. So other than those few minor pieces, I mean, here's all the minifigs. There's the spotlights. The little barricades so it's pretty much all here it's it's, it's probably 99.5 percent 99.9 percent .9 complete it's only missing a few pieces i've looked on the inside everything is there on the inside I'm very happy with this purchase don't know what i'm going to do with it i already have a palace cinema and i'll just tell you guys i got this for about a hundred dollars pretty crazy and the guy brought it to me I couldn't believe it. I didn't plan on buying it, but you know, that's what happens sometimes. You throw a bid out there and you win and you don't really want to win. But I'll take it. I really like it. This is one of my favorite modulars. If I ever get my city built, I might put them back side by side on a corner. It'll be like the twin cinema. Uh, maybe I'll get some custom stickers for this one so I can have a different movies playing. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll trade it to you guys. If anybody has any interest, has anything good to trade, shoot me an email. I'm always open. Or I should say a direct message. I'm always open to trades. I do that a lot. But, you know, I was thinking about this, and this kind of takes me on a trip down memory lane. You guys, some of you guys are probably too young, but some of you A-Falls remember. When I grew up, we didn't have the big multi-cinema Cinemaplex, you know, the big theater that has 15, 20 screens. In my little town, there were three movie theaters. There was one over by the college, it had two screens. There was one in the middle of downtown that had two screens, which that is actually a Tuesday mornings right now. And there was one inside the mall, which had two screens. So there was always six different movies playing. And there wasn't, it wasn't like today where there's movie plays. You know, there might be one movie on six screens or because it's real popular. And then as it 
as the movie goes away, you might be able to see it during the day. And it's just not at night because the, the newer movies are playing at night. I mean, it was pretty much, if you wanted to see a movie, you had to find out which theater was at. And that's where you had to go and you had to go see it. So, I just started thinking about that. And, you know, it's just another another instance of how times changed. And we didn't have the big fancy theater in the middle of town like this building. But, like I said, we had one downtown. And, you know, it was kind of crazy because if you wanted to see a movie, I can remember going to see The Return of the Jedi in the movie in the mall. It seemed like the mall always got the good movies. Uh, I remember seeing Home Alone and the one in uh, downtown. Um just one of those things you know the things that take you back reminisce a little bit so what do you guys think what's the theater situation in your town do you remember how it used to be compared to how it is now are you old enough to remember those days before the big giant multiplex uh, theaters um, what's it like now do you I mean in my we have a uh, we have an AMC theater that has I think it has 16 screens I think that's what it is I think it's 16 screens it's kind of crazy because when they built this thing, it's kind of like you walk in and it's got the main lobby, as most theaters do. The, you walk into the main lobby, the big giant concession stand. They built a little concession stand off to the side, and then on one wing, which has more screens than the other side, they built another concession stand. I got to tell you, I have never not even for grand opening of this movie theater have ever seen that concession stand open it's just like a, a plan that has went awry <laughs> you guys know how that is it's like big plans that never never come to light it's kind of crazy and then you know as in there I can go an hour in each direction and there's another AMC in New Orleans there's a uh, what's the other one those uh, in Baton Rouge and those have those have like 25 or 30 screens in it so it's pretty crazy how it's times have changed, isn't it? So tell me what you think, guys. You like this? You think I got a good deal on it? Like I said, what, made, what put this deal over the top was the guy who delivered it to me. Um, he told me his son was a Lego collector. Um, he's, I think he's kind of growing out of it, I guess. And he was just selling off some of his stuff. So I was real lucky. I think I, getting this thing for $100 is a, is a steal. What do you guys think? So that's it for this one guys one great set a little trip down memory lane what do you think as always guys I really appreciate all the support thanks for watching and that's it for this one you can follow me on Instagram at Mardi Gras Man 23 you can check out my Bricklink store at Mardi Gras Bricks and until next time thanks for watching and we'll see you again <laughs>